that was a very short introduction to a lesson for a song I recorded 16 years ago. <laughs> that was in the days I didn't yet paint my hair grey. Uh, in the video description below you will find a link to the full performance. And uh, in this lesson I will show you what I just played and also the accompaniment behind the, the vocals. And I will show you also the small, so uh, the little solo. And I tapped out the first 12 measures while I just played, and also the verse, the first verse, and I wrote the lyrics under the tap. And more information for the tap also in the video description. Uh, the song by Ida Cox, a singer from uh, the 20s and 30s, and <clears throat> I. I um, got this arrangement, well, based on uh, what I heard by a British blues guitarist uh, called Dave Peabody and he's still active, so uh, look out for him. Um, <clears throat> this song is not on YouTube, apart my version. Uh, it's from a very old LP that uh, was issued in the early 70s, I think. So, we're in standard tuning. Here are my E's. And we're playing this out of the key of D, and many times in the key of D we use a drop D tuning, but not in this uh, song. So, let's start. I'll play it one more time slowly and then we'll go over it. Kind of well, funny about this song, the bass. <clears throat> well, it's all over the place. Sometimes we have a double bass, <clears throat> a 12 8 bass, and sometimes it's just like that. And we have a few um, when we go to the G chord, a walking bass, and sometimes it's an alternating bass. So we're starting with the D chord, fifth and seventh fret. And we're going down and up again. To a normal D chord. As one thing, um, what we don't want to hear is this. That open third string, you have to block that or play it very carefully, but that is very difficult. So what I do is, I lift uh, my finger uh, my third finger a bit closer to my face, upwards, so it touches that third string and mutes the sound. And you can play the right hand either with the index or two fingers, one for each string, or in my case uh, the middle finger. And you have to mute the bass also. So don't play this. You have to mute the bass so you have a clear division of the bass. And here we're adding the 8th fret of the first string, so it becomes a D7. That's in bar 4. Now we go to a G. Like that. <clears throat> Third fret, open, first fret, second fret. And that last beat in measure 5 is a triplet. I use a lot of triplets when I go from one chord to another. Makes the transition a bit smoother and with a little jump. Uh, adds a bit of interest, so. And again, I'm, I mute with my uh, thumb after I play it. 
And there we have uh, in measure six, a G7. And an alternating bass. First fret, third fret, and open. But I keep my uh, pinky on the third fret, second string. And a slide up to our, uh, well, let's say signature licks there. And then we have an interesting move in bar uh, 8, in the middle of the bar, in the second beat of that bar, I'm changing to a B7. And you can either do a, <coughs> a half bar or the cowboy chord like this, that doesn't matter. So measure 8. And again that triplet there, open, 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 damp, index, damp. Seven. Play it on the first and the third string, open, and then. And you can play that either with the fingers or the thumb. Thumb pen and another finger. And then we're going in measure 10 to an A. And again that, that triplet at the end. we have a cool turnaround. And in measure 12 we have that long A again going to the A7. And then we start it all over. And I play the verse which is slightly different uh, <clears throat> and <clears throat> I'll sing it very softly. And we'll start with measure 12. I hear these women raving about the monkey man, about the trifling husbands and the no good man. These poor women sit around all day and moan, wondering why they're wondering papas don't come home. Why It's a bit too high for my voice uh, <clears throat> at the moment. In the performance video I play 12 string, which is tuned a bit lower than this, but also standard tuning. So uh, <clears throat> again we have that See, there's a little difference here. <clears throat> uh, in measure four, we do a double bass, and here I do in measure 16 that triplet. And in measure eight, I did also the triplet, and here I didn't do it in measure 17. Again, that uh, <clears throat> cool B7. And here the measure 21. I'm uh, using that triplet in the second uh, beat and a double bass in the last beat. One more time, that measure 21. Now in the solo, 
Uh, I'll play it uh, slowly. difference is in the beginning again I'm at a test seventh there and that in that D chord and we do that twice and you see that double bass stops for uh, two beats and then we do the same figure but 10th fret, 12th fret. And then it's uh, the same as before. And you see, I'm, I'm not going to the G here because I did it here. So that's it in a nutshell, uh, Wild Women Don't Have the Blues. And do listen to uh, Ida Cox's versions. And <clears throat> I put some information on her. Uh, she was a very interesting woman uh, <clears throat> who stood out between the other uh, female singers like Bessie Smith and Ma Rainey. She was not that uh, famous, but uh, she managed to get her uh, daughter uh, through college by singing the blues, uh, so it was quite an achievement. So have fun with this song.